we're the only craft brewer in the industry that has the kind of portfolio we do uh, with Kona, Red Hook, and Widmer. So they're all authentic brands. They all have unique positions. They all have styles that meet different drinking occasions. So we're in the midst of activating that in the marketplace. And the, the results have been spectacular in, in 2011. We're going to end up someplace around 11 or 12 percent revenue growth. Uh, so we believe that gives us a definitive advantage. If the market's all about variety, we're able to do that in a way that nobody else can. At this point, we have some distribution in basically all the states uh, at this point, but not all of our brands are in distribution in all the states, and the level of distribution is a lot lower. So we started on the West Coast, so we have substantial distribution there, uh, but the East Coast and the Midwest is a, is a major focus, and in fact, uh, the East Coast was uh, uh, growing at, at a double or almost triple the size of the West Coast this year, so that's that's where there's a tremendous amount of opportunity. The raw materials at this point is an issue, uh, and it's an issue for the entire uh, industry. Uh, malt prices are going to depress margins for everybody this year. Uh, the advantage we have is we're in a growth mode. Uh, our revenue continues to increase, and we're getting some efficiencies going through our breweries, so it'll mitigate it to some extent, but if you listen to Annis or Bush's conference call, Boston Beers, ours, everybody's talking about raw materials will, will depress uh, gross margin in the, in the short term. The relationship we have with Annis or Bush at the core when we developed it originally was about distribution, and over the years we've kind of experimented with uh, different kinds of relationships where uh, we made some account calls with them, some things like that. But where it really is now is kind of at its purest form, which is exactly right for us, which is it's just a distribution agreement. That's all we really, that's where the interface comes. Uh, they still have a, a minority ownership position uh, at, this, at this point in us, but uh, that really has no impact on our day-to-day -day business. So it's kind of where it originally was intended in its purest form and it's, it's working for us. As this segment evolves, there's going to be consolidation, there's going to be new opportunities out there that we'll have a chance to play in that uh, in a way that probably very few other craft brewers can. So right now we're focused on the core strategy, but we're keeping our eyes open and seeing what opportunities may come up and if there's one that's right for us that strengthens our overall model, then we'll take advantage of that.